Hey guys, welcome back to the Southern Rustic. Thank you so much for being here and clicking on this video. If you are new, hi, my name is Sam and on this channel we do all things cooking and recipes. If it is my recipe, the link to my website will be linked in the description box below as well as pinned in the comment section. So you can just go there and click on the link and it'll take you right to my website and you can pull up any recipe that is on my channel. Or you can just browse through all of the recipes. If it is someone else's recipes, I will have measurements in the description box as well as a link to their website so you can get all of the directions there and it also gives credit to the creator of that recipe. Um, I will also let you know if it's someone else's recipe as well. So in today's video, I've got another crock pot recipe for you guys and that is for my crock pot white chicken chili. This is a recipe that I have adapted over the years and updated so it fits our taste because we like our chili different pretty much every time we make it but this chili this white chicken chili i have just added ingredients to taken out ingredients over the years and it has turned out so delicious you're gonna love it and it's very easy the most ingredients that i have is probably the seasoning but this is our favorite seasoning for this dish, but you can use um, a little packet of taco seasoning if that's convenient for you. It'll taste just fine. So let's go over all of the ingredients and we'll get started. Okay guys, so this is just an overview of everything you're going to need. Don't mind my coffee back there. I definitely need it today. I can't English today, so bear with me. Um, for starters, we've got some chicken broth. Now, you can use bone broth. You can use vegetable broth. Whatever you have on hand, that will work. I've got some salt and pepper. I've also got some milk here, but you won't need this until the end of the recipe. I've got some frozen corn. You can also use a can of corn. Just make sure you drain it. Um, I've got... A can of green chilies you won't need to drain this but I've got that now I've got two cans of navy beans here it really depends on how I'm feeling when I make this if I use one or two cans I've got two cans out just in case I use both of them but we will see when we get there I've got an onion that I've just roughly chopped I've got lemon juice I've got cream cheese, cornmeal, but you won't need these until the end of the recipe. I've got two chicken breasts here, boneless and skinless. I've removed some of the skin. I've still got a little bit right there. I need to get off, but I think it'll be fine. Um, for seasoning, like I said, you can use a little packet of... Um, chili seasoning if that's what you have on hand this is just our favorite blend of spices in here i've got chili powder cumin garlic powder parsley coriander paprika oregano some um, cayenne pepper and some red pepper flakes now you don't have to use this mix like i said it's our favorite you can chunk in a packet of chili seasoning mix and you are good to go so Let's go ahead and get all of this going so we'll have a good dinner. Okay guys, so I've got my crock pot here. Make sure this is turned off. I turned it on one day or I plugged it in one day. It was already on. I don't know how that happened, but yeah. Make sure that's off because you don't want to put any cold items in a hot crock pot. It's not good. It's not good. So we are going to start off with our chicken broth i'm just going to mix that up you can use any kind of chicken broth that you like any brand you can do bone broth you can do vegetable broth 
I like to use the Nor brand because it's really good and it's got spices and flavor added into it. So that's that. I'm going to add just a little bit of salt. I don't want to add much because this broth does have salt in it. So just pay attention to that. And you can add as much or as little pepper as you want. I'm going to go heavy on the pepper, obviously. But we're going to go ahead and add in all of our spices. It's going to be super flavorful. And I'm going to give this a little mix. Okay. And then you can just add in all of the other ingredients got my onion, my corn. Lord, this smells good and it hasn't even started cooking yet. Now, let me get out my can opener. I cannot use the electric can openers to save my life. They do not like me. My husband can use them just fine. My daughter can use them just fine me it's a different story so we got the old school kind so i'm going to open my can of green chilies and i know i'm opening this can wrong but it'll be okay we all have those days and today is one of those days so i'm going to add all of that in there Now, I'm going to add in, let's start off with one can of beans. Now, I'm not going to drain these. You can if you want to. I'm not going to. Um, just personal preference. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Just depends on how I'm feeling that day. And today is one of those days where it's just chunk it and forget it. We all have those days and it is perfectly fine. So yeah, all right. Let's give that a stir and see where we're at. I think that is going to be enough beans. Now when it comes to beans in chili, we have bean lovers and bean haters. Let me know in the comment section below if you like beans in your chili or if you don't like beans in your chili. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. When it comes to old fashioned chili, the red chili, um, I like red kidney beans in my chili, but when I do like my cowboy chili, um, which is up on my channel, I will leave the link for it up here. I think it's got beans in it. Sometimes I cook it without beans because beans just irritate my stomach sometimes. So, yeah. All the good information on here today. So, I'm going to add in half of my lemon now. And then we will check it later and see where we're at. Now, I, use, I know I use this thing differently every time I use it. My daughter calls me out on it every time. She's like, Mom, why are you using it that way? I thought you used it the other way. But it's just, it is what it is. So, I'm going to give that a little mix. And I think I've got everything in there so far. Yeah. So, I'm just going to pop a lid on it. And I'm going to cook this on high for three hours. You can cook this on low for five hours. Um, and then I will meet you right back here. We'll add the other ingredients. And then let it cook for about another 30 minutes. And it will be done. Okay, guys. So this has been cooking for about three hours. And it smells so good. So I'm just going to take out this chicken and shred it up and then we will add in the remaining ingredients 
we'll be ready to eat. Okay, so I've got my chicken all shredded up. Didn't take that long at all because it was very tender. So I'm just going to put this back in here. Okay. Give that a little stir. Okay. Now I'm just going to break up this cream cheese just a little bit and add that in there just to help it mix together a little bit better. And melt better. Okay. All right. All right, now that that's in there, I'm just going to Give that a little mix. It's going to take it a few minutes for that cream cheese to fully melt. In the meantime, I've got my milk here. And we're just going to add in about, let me break that big lump up, about a quarter of a cup of cornmeal. Right in there. If I don't put the lid back on this, I'm more than likely going to knock it over. So I'm just going to mix this up until there's pretty much no more lumps. Because I don't want to put it in there and then it cook with lumps in there. So just kind of smush it around, get the lumps out. Alright, that looks good. So I'm going to put that in there and this is going to help thicken it up as well as the cream cheese give that a little mix okay so we're just going to cover this back up we're going to let this cook for about 30 to 35 minutes and it should be good to go you can come in and stir it up the cream cheese should be fully melted by the end so I will show you what it looks like when we get there okay guys so this is what it looks like when it's done I've gone ahead and tasted it and it tastes absolutely amazing but I'm gonna go ahead and add in just a little bit more lemon juice just to brighten up those flavors and give that a stir Make sure all of that cream cheese is completely melted in there. And you're good to go. You're ready to plate it up. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And as always, if you want this recipe or any of my other recipes I have up on my channel, you can click that link in the description box below. It's also pinned in the comment section and it'll take you right to my website and you can find any recipe I have there. So yeah, you guys, we're going to go enjoy dinner and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.